A Group Drive Presentation, Reed's Law, by Daniela, Kathleen, and Henry. An early attempt to generalize a way to determine the value of a network was first formulated in 1980, and later called Metcalfe's Law, after one of the creators of Ethernet Protocol. This law states that the number of unique connections in a network of n nodes is equal to n times n minus 1 divided by 2. If you wish to examine the behavior of this for large numbers, you find that the limit as n approaches infinity is equal to n squared. Thus, Metcalfe's law claims that, for large networks, the unique connections and implied value is proportional to the square of the number of nodes, or users. However, David P. Reed, a professor of computer science at MIT, found Metcalfe's law to be inadequate. He stated instead that the utility of large group-forming networks, such as social networks, can scale exponentially with the size of the network. This is known as Reed's law. Reed's law bases value on the number of subgroups that can be formed within the network, rather than the number of connections of two nodes within the network, as found in Metcalfe's law. The number of possible subgroups that can be formed from network participants is 2 to the n minus n minus 1, where n is the number of participants. As n approaches infinity, approximating the behavior of the formula for large numbers of nodes, this equation becomes 2 to the n. This exponential equation grows much more rapidly than either the number of participants, n, or Metcalfe's number of possible pair connections, approximated by n squared. Reed identified three types of networks. The simplest and easiest to value is the one-to-many or broadcast network. An example is the web portal, which delivers news or other content to many visitors. More complex and more valuable is the one-to-one -one or transactional network. Common examples are email and instant messaging. Last and most valuable, the many-to-many -many or group-forming network. Example of group-forming networks, or GFNs, include online communities, business-to-business -business exchanges, and buyer cartels. Reed's law is the notion that group-forming networks create value more quickly than regular networks. A network whose nodes themselves are networks, think MySpace, Facebook, or social networking in general, would increase in value more quickly than traditional networks that generally connect only two nodes directly, such as telecommunication systems like AT&T. In 1998, Reed applied his law to predict that eBay would be one of the websites with the greatest staying power, due to its use of the power of group-forming networks, when it let its users form subgroups based upon their interests. There are, however, several problems with both of these laws. Unlike theory, where we can assume and can trend toward infinity to predict behavior formulas, there are not an infinite number of new potential nodes to add to your actual network. eBay encountered this when expanding to foreign markets. They found it was difficult to pull people into their network from already established online auction sites to continue to expand their own community, slowing their expected growth. Another obstacle is the underlying assumption, stated as a part of Metcalfe's law, that each node is equal in value to each of the rest. As theory, it makes the equation simple. In real life, however, this is rarely, if ever, the case. No two people have the same value in any field. A technophobe's home computer, only used occasionally for email, does not provide the same depth of resources when connected to the Internet as a supercomputer at a research university. Similarly, neither law takes into account the potential for duplication of information. For example, if a college English department is brought onto the Internet for the first time, it should add new ideas, research, and creative thought to the network. However, it will also likely include data already present hundreds of times over, such as documentation on how to follow MLA standards when writing. This already present data adds nothing new. There is no additional value to the network for its being repeated. As a social network example, consider the time one of your friends sent you the latest internet meme, which 37 other friends had already sent. In addition, especially when talking about social networks, there is a human factor. Robin Dunbar proposed that there is a limit to the number of significant relationships any single human can maintain. While this can and does vary, an approximate average number is 150. Thus, under Reed's law, a social network of a thousand people theoretically forms subgroups from two to a thousand people, but realistically, most subgroups become ineffective after their size exceeds approximately 150 people. 
think of the people on Facebook who have a thousand friends. Is it likely that person will actually read something posted by any particular one of those friends? While the data is there, any one particular message is lost in a sea of information overload.